A blizzard has come howling out of the Rockies and it's rolling across the plains tonight. The snow is being measured in feet across much of Nebraska and Colorado. From Denver tonight, here's Bill Whitaker. Yeah, that's how we measure our snow. It's pretty accurate. All this snow fell on Tyler Weldon's backyard picnic table in Littleton, Colorado, southeast of Denver, in 16 hours. 16. That's 16 inches. Yeah, I think it's nuts, and I heard we're supposed to get a ton more snow. It's ridiculous. It's the biggest storm to hit the region since 2007. It forced the cancellation of 600 flights at Denver's airport, triggered traffic accidents, closed schools, and closed I-70 almost all the way to Kansas. Did it live up to expectations? I think so. For the month of February, it's a storm of epic proportions, by all means. Snow removal contractor Sam Granados plows right streets for the city of Denver. Denver he has area. 400 trucks, 2,000 workers, out battling this storm, dropping two inches an hour in some places. Oh, we plowed, but it covers it right up. So you have to come back and do it again? Come back and do it again. <laughs> Brothers Daniel and Elijah Harrison charge $20 to clear a sidewalk and driveway. The continuous snowfall is a bonanza. Does it seem kind of futile? I mean, you do all this hard work and then it gets covered up again. Well, we can come back and charge them more, but, you know, it's the way it is. The snowfall is picking up, and if it keeps snowing like this through the night as expected, this could become Denver's biggest February snowstorm on record. And tonight, it's sweeping to the east into Kansas and Nebraska. Bill, thanks very much.